a lot of the techniques and tools that we went over in the tool videos. So uh, the first thing I want to do is open a hand-drawn uh, version of this part that the customer sent in. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go to Bob Art and um, I'm going to click on images. I'm going to right click and say load image. And I'm going to, this is the image we're going to use. So the customer sent this, this part in. And we're only using this so, so you can see this. I, I have this printed out. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we have every dimension we need here uh, to design this part. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw some lines in here. We're going to use those as construction lines. So we're going to put a line here. We'll put a line here. We'll put a line here. put a line right here at the center of that and then we'll put another one right here and we have every dimension we need to place all those lines okay so let's uh, let's blank this image out and we'll start drawing okay so I, I have my hand drawn uh, copy printed out here in front of me and if, if you want to follow along just uh, back the video up and uh, print a screenshot of that uh, that drawing you have and uh, so we're going to go back to uh, the data screen and now uh, the first thing we're going to do is draw a, a rectangle so let's draw a rectangle and we're going to say um, we want the length of that rectangle to be 18 we want the height to be 3.5 and we want to place that at the bottom left. We're going to say OK and cancel. So there's our there's our basic uh, outline of, of the part. Now we want to place all those lines that, that we sh we uh, showed in red. So uh, the first line is this vertical line right here, and that's going to be at 1.75 or right even with the center of the end radius. So to do that, we're going to use the parallel line tool. Parallel line tool. And uh, we're going to go ahead and type in 1.75. And then we click on the line. And whichever side of that line I drag the mouse, the line appears. OK, so now we want another line, 5.5337. Uh, the left of that. So we click on this line and we have another one. So now we want to create a horizontal line at 1.8540. So we type in 1.8540. We click on the top line and there it is. So now we need two more lines to mark the center point of this radius right here. And the radius of that is 0.7813. So we're going to type in 0.7813. We're going to click on this line and go up. We're going to click on this line and go to the left. Now this intersection is the center point of our radius. Okay, so we're done placing lines. So next we want to put a point here because we're going to have to draw a line from here down to here. So And we're going to have to put a circle here. So we want to put a point here and a point here. And to do that we're going to use the point tool. Which is right here. And we're going to do an intersection point. Okay, so we're going to click here and here, here and here. And that's just going to make it much easier for us to, uh, to place lines and you know, place our entities in there. Okay, so now the next step is we want to put a circle right here at this point. So to do that, we're going to select the Snap Circle tool. And we want a radius of 0.7813. 
seven point three and we're going to snap it to that point right there and there it is so now we need a line from here to here now we we, we need the line tangent to this circle so th we're going to use the uh, the tangent line tangent tool okay we're going to start here at this point and we're going to go tangent to the circle Now that's basically our outline. So now we can start getting rid of some of these construction lines. So we can get rid of this one, and this one, and that one, and that one. We can lose that point. We can lose that point. And we can't get rid of this one just yet. So now we're going to use the trim tool. So we're going to come up here. We're going to say tr uh, quick trim. And we're going to just start trimming out what we don't want. So we don't want that. We don't want that. And we don't want that. So there's our basic outline of this part. <coughs> now we need to put in the two small circles. We have one here and one here. So to do, do that, we're going to use the circle coordinate tool. Okay, and our center X on the first hole is going to be 1.75 our center Y is 1.75 we press OK oh and we had the wrong radius there so I'm gonna back out of that we're gonna change this radius now sh uh, the drawing uh, shows a diameter so sheet cam works in radius so we need half of what the drawing says so the diameter is shown as 1.0625. Half of that is 0 0.53125. 0 0.53125. There we go. So now we hit OK. So now we need to move uh, over 10.5 inches on the X. And 2.5 from the bottom. So there's our hole. So all we're lacking now is we want to put a small radius here, large radius here, 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 and here, and maybe a small radius right there too. Just clean this up and break some of the sharp edges a little bit. Okay, so to do that, we're going to uh, go up to the, uh, the art tool, and we're going to use the fillet tool. Now this is 3.5 inches, but we can't go exactly half of that. Uh, we have to go slightly less than that. So exactly half would be 1.75. Uh, we're going to go 1.749. And here. 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 And here. Now on this radius right here we need a very very small one so uh, I'm gonna do a sixteenth inch radius right there we'll say 0 0.0625 and because we're right on the edge of this radius sometimes this doesn't work and it is good so we break that corner a little bit right here we'll put a radius here of say 0.25 that <coughs> and that's it that's that's our completed part and now we would uh, go to file export selected always a good idea to check your layers remember she cam likes closed contours now we were on this layer so we can just change this uh, I'm gonna change this I'm gonna put it on the zero layer and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select the entire part and we're going to click on the modify to current layer button and that's going to move that entire part to layer zero. Now I could very easily, I, ha I already have an inside layer, we'll, we can create another layer and we'll call it outside. So let's say that I want to put uh, 
I want to put the circles on the inside layer and the uh, outer contour on the outside layer. I can select those and then I can say modify attributes layer and I click on the inside layer. Okay, now I want to move this to the outside layer. I'm going to hold the shift key down and click. That change selects the entire part. I right click. I say modify attributes layer and we click on outside. There. Now these are on the inside layer. This is on the outside layer. Even though our active layer is zero. The last step is to save the part. And to do that, we're going to go to the File menu, and we're going to say Save As. And uh, we always want to save as a DXF file, because we're taking this into SheCam. If you don't save it as a DXF, uh, SheCam won't know what to do with it. So always select DXF file. OK, now we're going to type a name for the part. So we'll say Part, uh, I don't know, we'll call it Part 2, and say Save. So now that, that part saved, and um, we can uh, use it in SheCam now. Uh, and that's about it. So uh, keep an eye on more uh, application videos where we will actually take uh, hand-drawn prints from customers and uh, make videos from them and show you how to draw them in Bobcat. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.